Long awaiting video of Tonezi is finally out. He has finally do the confession. Even the confession make him to become a pastor. As I'm talking to you, Tonezi is holding his Bible now, saying whatever that he is saying. I want all of us to look into the matter, give him a listening ear, to know if what he's saying is genuinely or if it's not genuine, if it's from his heart or not. If it's what is normal, he do finish after he continue again. Let's give him a listening ear. We are not kids. Just look into the matter very well. Anything that you think, drop it in the comment section. Remember, this is the long awaiting video, which they must, it is their must, they must drop a video about it. This is what everybody has been waiting to hear about the next day, playmates and co. So family, let's look into the whole matter. Don't forget to share this video so that other people is going to see it. Because many people was like, how can playmate just forgive him just like that? Even the confirmation, conf confession he promised to give, do by himself. He could not, he did not do anything again. But the video has finally arrived. I just picked him now from the airport. Let's go there. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. Depending the time you are watching this video, um, I know people might be wondering why I'm I'm holding this Bible and this early for you. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a preacher. I'm not. I'm not a pastor. Yes. Yes. There's this thing that has been happening. Um, the catastrophe that's been going on online, based on what happened between I and Pastor Destiny and Clinics and the rest of the crew and two brothers. But I want to let you guys know that everything was spiritual conspiracy. Yes, believe it or not. Everything that happened was a spiritual conspiracy. I can I'm not a killer. I've never killed before. I'm not a good man. I've never hurt anybody before. I can't even hurt a fly. I've been a good person. I was born into a Christian home. I was born into a Christian home. So there's nothing that will make me to wake up one morning and start hurting anybody. So this, there's something you don't understand in this life. Spirituality is stronger than the physical. Spiritual controls the physical. So you don't expect me a flesh and blood to be overshadowing spiritual. If, if actually you can shadow your spirituality, then why not fight your poverty, fight your problems that are involved you? But before you fight all those things, you have to go through pastors or through anybody to get here. So I myself, I know I'm a destiny child. If you watch this last video um, and Sarah posted, there's something specific he said about me. I'm a destiny child and I love pastors so much. I love playmates. There's no way I wake up one morning and want to start harming people that I love. Pastor Destiny is like is like a like a father to me. In fact, I um, I want to emulate his ways. I want to uh, it's most times I feel like emulating him, doing things that he does, even playmates. So there's no way I will wake up in the morning, start fighting these people. They are my family. They are all my family. All these things are just spiritual and spiritual. Somebody was manipulating the whole thing. I will never kill. I will never hurt anybody in this life. Yes. So what I'm the Bible said it. The Bible is in is in the Bible. You understand? It's in the Bible where they say the what happened what really happened is that the last family devotion we went to um concerning this uh, we went to the tenth Kubu. That was the reason why all these things started happening. That is where everything started happening. And the Bible still said that when the foundation is not is not is not strong, there's nothing the righteous can do. The foundation everything started from the foundation and which is plain it. Which is plain it. Plain it has a family issue, village issue, and yet he was he has not delivered himself and he's taking us to family liberation. How does that work? Never knew that he has the uncle that is planning to kill him. You never knew, I don't know. I don't know that Plain has an uncle that's trying to kill him. I don't know. But meanwhile, he he is supposed to go and liberate himself first before taking any of us to this family liberation. Like I told you guys, the spiritual controls the physical. Take it or leave it. I will never wake up in the morning and want to hurt my fellow man. I will never try that. So the Bible said this, it's in the Bible. When the, when the foundation is, is destroyed, there is nothing the righteous can do. 
And again, during this period, Pastor Jason was talking about okay, anytime we are going for family liberation, that we should we should always be on fasting. Even clinics, MZ, all of them. They, are, they, they don't they don't even we don't fast. That is just the whole truth. Pastor, Pastor will give us a revelation that we should fast for a week. But me you now I can just fast for like two, three days and forget about the rest, thinking that yes, I'm the man of God, nothing will happen to me. But unfortunately, this happens. I'm just a human being. We make mistakes. So all these things that happen online and everything is not me, it's not my do. Bible also said that obedience is better than sacrifice. You know, I I I know that yes, I disobeyed I disobeyed pastor. I disobeyed pastor instructions. I didn't keep his instructions. But he told us to be fasting, but we did not fast. I will not lie. I never fast. I fasted only two days or three days. Look, I don't even complete the fasting. I don't complete it. I don't I don't complete the prayers. Even claim it empty, all of us, we don't. So that's the reason why all these things now have effects on us. Everything penetrated on us so easily because we do not follow the scripture very well. All this kind of a thing, when you are going for family liberation, you are facing the spiritual life, you have to be very, very powerful. But I myself, I believe that because I was, I was with Pastor Destiny, that Pastor Destiny will cover me, will cover all of us. So you don't know the unknown. Nobody knows the unknown. You don't know what will happen. So all these things were just a spiritual conspiracy. So, like I said, I I was born into a Christian home and I was trained very well. And it has never been easy on me and my family ever since then. I don't know that many uncle was planning to kill me. The revelation, even when Pastor, Pastor Evan called me, he gave me that revelation. Pastor himself, the last time I, I apologized to the clinic, I called Pastor Justin. He told me that he was going for a conference. He traveled from going for a conference and he will not be available. So right now I am pastor, we speak every day, we talk every day, we chat every day. Yes, we talk every day. He understood what really happened to me. The prophetess that gave that the, the lady that prophetess said that in that day because I she she the, the um prophecy wasn't so clear on her. She, she wasn't seen so clear then. Then later on, you guys saw the last video of Clinic posted. Later on, she saw everything. Clinic uncle he has been the one chasing me, chasing Clinic. He want, wanted to use me to kill me. Wanted to use me to fight me. Yes. Thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. Look, this thing that I, this, all the things that I went through, all the things that I went through, all this, all this suffering and spiritual attack and everything that I've gone through. It's not something that we wish you to go through in life. It's not something that we wish my enemy to go through in life. Because I don't know, I don't know how it will look like, how it will be on you if you should experience what I experience. I know people are into what you should do, the world you should do, and I want you to share this video that will go viral. Everybody will see this video because what I'm saying is not just ordinary something. As you can see, I'm holding my Bible, I'm holding my holy body. And this is how Pastor normally connects with his God. And this is how I'm connected with my own God. I love Pastor Destiny. I love Mimi. These people are my family. I will never hurt them. Because everything that happens was on my team. Please, Pastor Destiny fans, two brothers fans, Mimi fans, my own fans, and every other person that is watching this video, find it in your heart to forgive you. Find it in your heart to accept me because everything that happens of spirituality is not physical. Not physical. I will never, I will never pray for this thing to happen to my fellow man. But you don't know how it will be. And all the brothers, ladies out there that have been speaking for that are that are all the barrier ladies out there, all the guys that have been looking for jobs and most of the members of that have traveled outside the country that are looking for a job that are going through a lot. I present your life today. That that God that saved me, He saved you. The God that came to my rescue and rescued me from all these problems and tribulations and catastrophe and spirit, spiritual whatever, will come to your rescue. He saved you, save your family. If you're a lady, you have been looking for a child for 10 years, 20 years, I don't know who you are, but I'm presenting your life today. After watching this video, you will be here. The God that saved me and the God that I serve will save you from all your problems and your struggles. Mark my words today. 
Mark TV. And for the time in your life, please be able to share this video so that people will see this video to go viral. Please, I'm begging you guys. I'm now a change person. And not I'm, I'm, I wasn't a bad person before. I wasn't a bad person. All these things were the spiritual stuff that attacked me. Playmates was attacked by the injury. MZ was also possessed. Forget about what he said that I told him, I lay on him, or whatever. He was also possessed. So he was actually attacked. Then persuasion now caused him. I myself, I was attacked spiritually. Most times I will be I will be sleeping, but I'm not sleeping. I know what I, I went through. I know what I went through. So, um, you should drop your comments. Drop, drop your comment in the comment section. Playmates needs to do a family division because I know that the reason why all these things are happening is because of his family. His teenagers are after his life. I don't know whatever, whatever, whatever they are fighting. I don't know. I don't know. So it really affected me so badly. And because I was the one close to playing that day when all this is happened. It's not easy. It's a spiritual. The spiritual world is more stronger than the physical world. People should find in your heart to forgive me, forgive me, and I believe everything is fine now. To accept me back as your child, because even God Himself did forgive. And the reason why I'm alive today is because God forgave me. God has given me another chance because He knows I'm a best, I'm a, I'm a best child. Actually, I was meant to die. I wouldn't be alive. Actually, everybody is. It's, my my uh, eventually two brothers are, two brothers is meant to die you will be alive or you any other person that has been that way for god kept everybody alive for the purpose so now i'm seeing that purpose i'm seeing that purpose i'm very grateful to god that he kept me to today and i'm really grateful i'm really happy people should find to have to forgive me share this video let it go viral let people see this video and learn from it Learn from it. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Always keep to your pastor. The problem is that most people don't keep to their pastor's instruction. Pastor might give you instruction to fast, to pray, but we don't do it. We overlook it. That is the problem most of us are having in this country. We don't keep instructions. So I have learned my lesson. Anytime I embark on such journey or with my friends to back on such journey, I must make sure that I fast and I pray. I have to commit myself to this thing first before embarking on such journey. So the same thing goes to you. If pastor, any man of God asks you to do this thing, please do it. I know I disobeyed the pastor, the man of God. That is the reason why I faced all this trauma. But I thank God I came out of it and I survived. I'm really grateful. So you people should share this video that every other person in this world will learn from me. Your brothers, your family out there, out of the country, UK, Asia, USA, people will watch and learn. Always take the word of the man of God so serious. I'm a living testimony. I'm a living testimony. And God bless you all.